Hey guys, thank you for tuning in here to another video. I know it's been a while, guys, but uh, let's get this started. Uh, basically, what we have here, guys, is we have the new iPhone 16e S25 Ultra. We got the 6, 16 Plus Pixel 9 XL Pro. And we even got a SE 2022. All right, guys, they're all on the Verizon network. So we're going to test them all one by one, all right? So we're going to start off first with the S16e 17 ping with the Ford Jitter. And no, I am not near a Verizon site right now because I wanted to give a fair and honest opinion on how this modem handles, you know, not being close to a site. So we're looking at... 70 ping for jitter 223 on the down and 16.8 on the up that's on the new apple c1 modem all right we're going to compare it to let's see here let's do our iphone sc 2022 we'll work we'll work our way up 21 ping nine jitter as you guys know this phone's from 2022 and these are all in the verizon highest plan so we're not skimming out here they're all on ultimate we're ultimate and get more, but pretty much the same. 135 down. And we're going to say about 12 up. Okay. That's on the SC 2022. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the iPhone 16 plus. This has the X71 modem, 18 ping, 10 jitter. Wow. Uh, that's it's a big difference. Okay, 358 down. And we're looking at about, give or take, a 21.7 on the up. All right, now let's go over here to the Pixel. So the Pixel 9... Pro XL, 19 ping, 5 jitter. And this is running on the Exynos modem, guys. Wow, it's not doing bad at all. Okay, 407 down. And 30 up. And then let's hear, this is the flagship, the X80 modem, Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, 19 ping, six jitter. Wow. 316 on the down. Here, let's see. I'm gonna see what connection between the Pixel and and the Galaxy. What's what's the difference? Okay, so 316 by 24.5. Let's check the the Galaxy connection here. Okay, we are looking. Oh, it's on standalone. Okay, so 160 megahertz of standalone, and then the Pixel is preferring non-standalone we got the 160 megahertz of 77 with the with the lte okay so let's see if i could turn off standalone real quick and we'll get that compared i'll be right back okay guys we got it on non-standalone now we're looking at a 20 ping five jitter huh interesting well, it looks like the Pixel did better. Hey, it is what it is. 346. By 25.9. So guys, let's see here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to download. I'm going to do five tests on the coverage map app and then we'll see the averages guys and then i'll be right back and show you guys averages 
All right, guys, we are back. We're done with the coverage map testing here. S25 Ultra, we have an average of 332 by 20.6 with an average ping of 48. And these are the results for the five tests right here. All right, now we're gonna move on to the, what is this? The, the iPhone 16 Plus, 276 by 25.8, average ping 30. There's our results right there for all five tests. Pixel, yeah, this is the Pixel 9 Pro XL, 247 average by 32.3, 27 ping average. And then here are our results right here. iPhone 16e average ping, average download was 171 down and then 18.5 on the up ping 30 and then here's our results right here and here we have the se 2022 93.6 average 11.1 on the up 35 ping average and then here's our five results right here all right guys so is the apple c1 modem good yeah it's all right i mean i'm not near a cell tower the cell tower is literally over these house, this community of houses in a shopping plaza that way. So it's being covered by all these houses and everything. So can we say it's good so far? So far, yeah, it's okay. Can it keep up with like a Qualcomm competitor? No, but for the price, is it right? I'm going to keep it honest with you guys. Not really. I think it should have been no more than $4.99. But other than that, I mean, if you really need a phone and you're on a budget, there are great po promos from MVNOs like Total Wireless and Visible and stuff like that if you want to get it. But, I mean, other than that, guys, that's it. That's going to conclude this video. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to do AT&T. We're going to do T-Mobile. And let's see if I can sneak in a boost in here too. But other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate y'all. Thank you to the channel members for all the love and support. Make sure to hit that like button on the way out, guys. Really appreciate it. And as always, my friends, we're going to catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.